Hi guys, welcome back to HD Arachnids. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start a collection tour. We've got 74 tarantulas, so we're not going to do all of those today because I don't want to ramp up the bore factor or anything. But I think we're going to do, what do we say, 12 of them we're doing? Yes. Yeah, we're going to do 12 of them in this video, and then we'll do a couple more videos a little later on down the road and uh, show you guys a few more of the things we have. So we're going to get started right here. Uh, we got our Sirica Pelma species bouquet. This one is named Jada. I don't know if you want to, you want to probably zoom in a little bit here. Just like this. Yep. See if we can tickle her out, maybe. I don't think she's gonna. Oh, there she is. I think you're on the camera. It's not real big. She's about the size of a quarter right now. Yeah, she was a cutie. Really good feeder. I really, uh, this is our only Sirica Palma. I know there's a few other species out there that I'd like to get eventually, but uh, right now this is the only one we have. All right. All right, well, let's move on to the next one here. Well, hopefully all these guys are gonna cooperate and maybe make an appearance. I'm sure there might be some we won't be able to see. I'll have to try to insert a picture or something like that a little bit later on here. Here we got one of our smallest ones. This is Huey, a Lassiodora parahabana. He is and tiny. He is tiny. He's out right now. Oh, he just kind of ran in there. So, let's see if I can get him. He's got a little worm in there. He was just working on, but I scared him off. But... I don't think he's going to come out. Let's see if we can. I don't know if we can see him out or anything to hide there. No. Mm. Well, I don't think we're going to get to see him. Maybe if you... I don't know if you can... There he is. If you tap like on the center of the screen, it'll focus on whatever you tap onto. Can you see it at all? Yeah. Okay. All right. all right. Well, that's our one of our LPs. We've got a couple of those. All right. We'll just fill up the water dish on that after we're done here, too. Okay. Alright, next we've got a Pamphobatus antennas. This is Wes. I know he's right down on the hide, so you should be able to see him pretty easily. Uh, he's putting on a little bit of size since we got him. I think he's about the size of a half dollar coin right now, something like that, about two inches, give or take. Just molded recently, so he's really, really colorful. I don't know if the color's coming through on the camera or not. Oh, he's one of my favorites. He's going to get to be obviously a, a pretty large spider. I believe these guys get up to like eight, nine inches. This one, uh, we're pretty sure this is a male, but we don't know for sure yet. We got to check another mold just to just to be positive. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Here we got one of my favorites. I don't think we're really gonna get to see this one, but you might be able to see it with the light shining through. This is Morticia, and she is a Pesolotheria ornata. Is she even out? Yeah, she's right there, which is probably not real easy to see. No. You can't see her at all, I don't think. A little bit, but not much at all. No. All right, yeah, that's, that's the way pokies are, though. As soon as you, they'll be out, and then as soon as you get anywhere near them or look in their direction, they just decide to go where you can't see them. But got the uh, the cheese ball container. I love these things. All right, next we got one of my wife's very favorite tarantulas, and she's out right now. So hopefully, I don't spook her when I move her. Her name yeah, is Quinn. This, yep, this is Quinn. She is a Chromatopelma cyanopubescens, or the green bottle blue. And she is a confirmed female. You getting a lot of glare? Or? <laughs> uh, we've had her for 
a decent while now. We're waiting for it to put on a little more size. Eventually, I want to try to get a male too, and we'll try to pair them, but that's a little ways down the road. I know these guys are usually man eaters, <laughs> according to what I read on the forums, anyhow. But she's a really pretty tarantula. She's been in a couple of the feeding videos, so if you've been watching us for a while, you've probably seen her before. All right, moving on. We got Mr. Jagger here. He is a confirmed male, Serato Jagger's darlingy. I think all you're gonna get to see of him is his toes, maybe. He's down in his little corner there. Well, we can maybe, maybe we can tickle him out. Come on out, Louie. Oh, there I see a leg. There's another leg. Come on, buddy. Come on and say hi. He's usually pretty no, I don't think he's going to. Yeah, he's usually out. But we did recently rehouse him a couple weeks ago, and he decided to just hold up in this one little dinky piece of cork bark in the corner instead of the, the real nice hide. Uh, all right. But he's our largest darling, and we've got actually got... Uh, Six of them. We've got one pretty small one that's still only about the size of my nickel, and then we've got five larger ones that we named after members of the Rolling Stones. Okay. Now this one, I know you guys have probably seen in the feeding videos, this is Sharon, and she is a Therophosa blondie. And, uh, she's usually a pretty crazy spider, so... But now she's actually down in her hide. So maybe she'll come out if I do a little tickle here. She might try to grab my paintbrush. I don't know if she's going to come out. Woo! Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was a little jump scare. Yeah, we'll just leave her alone. She obviously doesn't want to be bothered. No, we're getting a good shot of her face. <laughs> yeah. Man, she went after that paintbrush. That's crazy, Sharon. Yeah. All right. Usually, as soon as I grab the container, she starts running laps around it. Very, very skittish spider. She hasn't been aggressive at all or anything like that, but she's pretty defensive. I don't think any tarantula is really aggressive. I think defensive is more the word. It's not like they come shooting out at you or anything like that. They just get mad when you do something wrong. All right. Now this one here. Also one of my favorites. Yeah. This has been one of Helen's favorites since he was a, a little tiny thing, and now he's a little bit bigger. But uh, this is Elasiodora difficilis. Named him Uggs, and we're pretty sure he's a male, not 100%, but I don't know if you're going to be able to see him or not. He's way down in his burrow back here. Maybe tip it up a little bit. Not much. Yeah, you can probably see his button, that's about it, I suppose. Yeah, there's not too much there. I'll try to get a photo of him a little bit later on and I'll stick it in there hopefully and you guys can get a look at what he really looks like. But I know those guys grow up to be pretty big spiders like the Parabanas and they're, uh, they're a really really pretty spider. And we also have a Kluge too but it'll be in a different video. Alright moving on. Right here we've got one of our Bomba Caboclas, Julie. If we're gonna get to see her or not. She was out when I got the enclosure, but you know how that goes. They don't stay when you want them to stay. Uh, we look down the hole. But she's been in quite a few feeding videos, and we have three of these guys. Yeah, she's probably not gonna. Yeah, I don't think she's going to be grazing us with her presence. But these guys are really pretty spiders. I really like the Bumba Caboclo. I like that contrast of the black and red. 
We have that bright red carapace. But we have pictures, so we can insert. Yeah, we'll try to insert some pictures here. All right, and next, we have another one of my wife's favorites. This is Nick. And he's pretty visible, usually. going in from the top to the side. Nick, uh, we bought him as an Avicularia hiriana, but uh, we did some research and found out that that was reclassified as Avicularia geruensis morph 2. And I'm still not 100% sure that that's exactly what he is. But uh, once I get a molt, I've got to measure the legs, uh, number one and four legs, and apparently that's how you tell the difference. He might be soon. Yeah, pretty soon. I think he's in pre-molt, so hopefully we'll get a molt, and then I'll be able to get some Nice picture of his real fresh colors because he's just a gorgeous spider. Good eater too. Yeah, he is a ferocious eater for the most part. Alright. Now let's move on to the next one. We just got a couple left here. Right here we've got Blondie, and this one I think is my wife's absolute favorite. Yep. This is the Aphonopelma. Chalcodes, or Chalcodes, but yeah, she's not real big yet. She's very yeah, about sweet two though. inches diagonal legs, man. But she is just the sweetest, nicest spider you'd ever want to meet. Actually, you know, we don't handle our spiradulas too often, but she's one of the the two that I really am comfortable handling. I've handled her a few times, and she's just. Yeah, she is a pretty nice tarantula. But she's beautiful, and she's getting a little bit dull. I think she's going to be molting here within the next, well, probably a couple weeks or so, something like that. She's getting kind of pre molty She hasn't eaten in about, what, 30 days? I'm like, it's been a good month, but these guys are known for going on their hunger strikes. Yeah, it freaks me out because she doesn't eat much at all. Yeah. Oops. All right, let's move on to, looks like we got our last one here. But certainly not least, we have Blueberry, which is, it was sold to us as Formictimus caudus, but I did a little bit of research and had some people comment online when I posted a couple pictures saying that it wasn't a caudus, and it's actually what is, uh, it's one of the undescribed ones, it's Formictimus species Dominican Purple. And I don't know if you can get a good view of her, she's down in her hide, but they, she just has this brilliant blue color to her right now as a sling. And I know later on these things get just gorgeous, especially if they're males. You getting yeah. a good shot of her? Yeah, I'm getting her. Yeah, she is a little cute. She's another one of our favorites. I think we say that about most of the tarantulas, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I have one that I don't like, except for maybe Devon Worthy. He's a, He's, a, he's kind of a devil of a tarantula, but... Uh, That's how I feel about sharing them. <coughs> some, of them some of them are pretty defensive. Now we've got, uh, you know, kind of a new location. We're setting up a room here. Hopefully we're going to have kind of a little, uh, like a studio and tarantula room set up here. Because we've got winter coming and we want to be able to keep one of our rooms a little bit warmer than the rest of them. It'd be like a pretty cool house. But uh, So I'm in the process of... You know, kind of setting up this room. I'm going to move some shelving in here, and you know, we'll give you a little tour of it once we get it all finished up and uh, get everything put on the shelves and looking real good and everything. So, thanks for joining us. Um, you know, like always, if you like our content and uh, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that uh, thumbs up video or button if you like the video, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.